Hey guys, what's up? It's Pixel8 here, and welcome back to another Sims 4 news and info video. So happy patch day, everyone. It is August the 16th at 1 o'clock p.m., and the Sims team has released yet another patch for The Sims 4. I have the complete patch notes, as well as a full list of bug fixes and more in today's video. Let's get started. So today's update on the 16th of August is for PC version 1.46181020 and Mac 1.46181. 220. Hey Simmers, summer will be over soon, but that doesn't mean we can't celebrate the warm weather with some free content for the community. The Sims community is truly global, which means we have so many fun stories to tell with events like Diwali, Day of the Dead, and more. Through our Sims clothing, furniture, food, and activities, we are trying to celebrate the diversity within our community. With summer in full swing, we shifted our gaze towards the sunny Caribbean and its vibrant, colorful clothing styles. With carnival taking place throughout the region, we took inspiration from the traditional patterns to craft some hip, modern clothing for your sims to wear to a party or perhaps the last picnic of the summer. In this pack, you'll find three new hairs, two of which have beautiful curls and textures. There are also numerous new clothing assets, some makeup and even a little furniture. We should mention that it includes a seal fan and sliding door. Oh my god, I'm so excited because I've been wanting those for such a long time. Check out the new assets, tell us what you think, and be sure to share your stories and creations in the gallery. Now for this month's patch notes. So there are a lot of fixes in the Sims 4 base game. Screenshots taken using the C key are no longer fuzzy. We had some schmutzel on the lenses we had to clean off. There are now three new hairs as well as a head wrap. In case you are looking for more hair, there's a new stubbly beard. There is an abundance of new clothing. We added two feminine tops, two skirts, snazzy sweatpants, a new suit, and some sandals. And if you can't decide how to set it up, there are new featured looks to kickstart your ideas, one male and one female. Can't we make up? There are new lipsticks, new eyeshadows, and new eyeliners. There are now four sliding doors. And there is now a ceiling fan in case you were curious about that breeze. We have added a new wallpaper. Look for its leafy goodness. There is a new coffee table, potted plants, living chair, love seat, and painting. We fixed an issue where we thought bubbles would overlap and never go away. It should be fixed now. At least that is our thought. Bubble, get it? The word queer is no longer banned by the profanity filter. As language evolves, it's important we stay on top of these things. So thank you for your feedback. The walls down and cutaway view options function as expected if an additional active sim is added to your household when visiting an NPC home. Two sims can no longer try to pick up or wrangle a toddler at the same time. <laughs> Family trees should accurately represent a sim's lineage now with non-blank thumbnails. Build mode and gallery music will no longer collide for dominance. We accidentally introduced a bug that was more or less worse version of Battle of the Bands. <laughs> Expansion pack, game pack, and any stuff pack fish types now count towards the collect 20 fish type goal from the angling ace aspiration. You can now live drag microphones and place them in a sim's inventory. Get to work. Employees now deduct funds when restocking, so it's no longer free, but also the cheaper restocking perk now works for employees. We giveth, we taketh. Romantic garden stuff. The wishing well now gives you a soulmate with the gender of your sim's romantic preference. City living. Sims walking around San Myshuno now act like it's cold outside, or hot, or as you'd expect if Seasons is installed. Seasons. Sims now dress appropriately for the weather to mourn. Sims conducting athletic activity like basketball and jogging will no longer freeze to death. Sporting is once again safe. If you have laundry day stuff, seasonal clothing changes won't generate so many clothing piles. There was an issue where sims you created but weren't currently playing would be affected by weather and therefore might immediately freeze to death when trying to play them. This seemed like a poor way to play the sims, so we fixed it. And last but not least, miscellaneous, various text and translation changes and improvements. Alrighty, you guys, so those are the patch notes for today's update. Hopefully you are excited for the update and what is to come. I will most likely make a separate video showcasing some of the new clothing, the new objects, makeup, and all of that stuff that has come with the patch but this video is just going to be specifically for the patch notes and letting you guys know you know what's coming with the game what's going to be fixed and all of that 
What are you guys most excited for in this patch? I'm most excited for the ceiling fan and sliding door. I'm so happy that we finally have those in The Sims, and I'm surprised that they added them in a free patch. You know, you would think that a feature like that would be added in like an expansion pack or something that you had to pay a lot of money for, but nope, we got it free this time around. Let me know what you guys are excited for and what you are looking forward to most in The Sims. Leave all of your comments, questions, and suggestions down in the comment section below. As always, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up and add it to your favorites. Subscribe to become a pixelator today and ding the little bell next to the subscribe button and you will be notified whenever I upload any type of new video. I love you guys and I will see you all next time. Bye.